Howdy, AP Precal. It is Ms. Kosh. We are looking at logs today. We're introducing that idea. Um, so, as we get started, we begin this idea talking about inverse operations. And so, the opposite or the inverse operation to addition would be subtraction. Um, and you can think about how if you were to solve that little equation right there, you'd subtract 3 from both sides. Um, the, uh, the inverse operation uh, for multiplication is division. The inverse operation of cubing something is taking the cube root. And the inverse operation for, um, right, for having an exponent um, is taking the log of something. Um, and so we can say what, we, um, what we're talking about here is we'll have equations that can be written as exponential, in exponential form or in log form. I'm too lazy to write out the logarithmic form. Um, and this is one where um, I like to remind kids, I heart logs. Um, and we do love logs. They're fun. Um, but what we'll do is we'll say b to the a equals c. And it kind of, that's a terrible looking heart. But if you pretend that that's a heart, um, it might help you remember. Notice the base b right here. Um, so it's b to the a equals c. And that's how we can go. I find it easy to go from logarithmic form to exponential form. The other direction, I always have to double check myself. So if this is me, 20, we don't need to put the actual number, but 23 years into my teaching career, of, um, if I'm still struggling, I wouldn't be surprised if you have a hard time with that too. So example one is asking us to convert from exponential form to log form. Um, and so we see a log base three, it's a log base three of nine equals two, and I'm gonna double check by doing I heart logs. Three squared equals nine, and that's exactly what I had written there. Okay, the next one, there's a 10, um, and anytime I see a base of 10, um, if I have a log and it doesn't write down the base, it's understood to be 10. Okay, so it's understood that there's a 10 here, and then I can double check with, with I heart logs, 10 to the x equals y, and there we go. Okay, the next one here, I have log base r of w equals t. And once again, I, um, okay, so then we can double check, I heart logs, r to the t equals w, yes, that's what I started with. Um, I tell my kids all the time, I'm not creating your handwriting, but I'm creating your handwriting. You really need to make sure that the, um, the r is a subscript here, and that the w is not right next to it, and that it's kind of like, this is all on one line, and that's a little bit below. Um, so, I'm not grading your handwriting, but I'm creating your handwriting because the way the oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to erase it. Um, the way that we write this matters. Okay, let's look at the next one. Um, so here we have you could rewrite this as e to the three x equals y. We also have an understood base when we look deal with natural log. The natural log has an understood base of e, so it's natural log of y is equal to three x. Um, because it's understood to be a base of e right here. You don't have to write that, but it's e to the 3x equals y, and that's what we started with. Okay, um, and now the other ones I think are very easy. And so we'll do i heart logs. This is 7 squared equals x. We've converted the following, but it just leaves, I'm, I'm, I'm left twitching. Um, if I leave it like that, I know that x is equal to 49. Okay, the next one, 3 to the x equals y. Okay, we have an understood base of 10. 10 squared equals y has converted that to exponential form. Once again, I'm twitching, and so um, uh, y equals 100. This has an understood base of e. e to the fourth equals c. And we're done. Okay, um, let's look. So with these... What I did here is I took the properties, I wrote down the properties and gave us some practice that really required, example four really requires you to use those properties. Example three, um, you can use what you know about exponents to work them, but you can also use the properties. So um, maybe we'll, well, okay, here we go. We're, what The one way to do this problem is to set this equal to a variable and then do I heart logs. So I have two to the X is equal to eight. I know my powers, and I know that 8 is 2 cubed, and so therefore x is equal to 3. So you could write out officially log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. Okay, the next one, <coughs> excuse me, is set this equal to x. Do, do, do. We have a log base 5 of, no, what am I doing? No, oh my goodness. Yeah, I always do these at the end of the day when I'm tired. 5 to the x is equal to 25. 
5 to the x is equal to 5 squared, x is equal to 2. We could rewrite this as saying, like if you officially said, what is log base 5 of 25? Well, the answer is 2. Okay, um, this one, I, um, you know what, I'm, I'm just, I just can't wait. Um, we can use the property, well, all right. Um, okay, when I see this, I see that this is log base 2 of 2 to the 5th, and I have a property down here um, that tells me log base b of b to the x is just equal to x. Um, and, well, this one, anything to the 0 power is equal to 1, so try i heart logs here. So if you do b to the 0 equals 1, um, so there's that property. We have log base b of b is going to be equal to 1. Oh, I want to switch back to blue. I don't know why. Apparently it bothers me. Okay, this one is a little more confusing. Log, uh, base b, so b raised to the log base b of x, it equals x also, but let me show you why. Um, if I have b to the log base b of x, and we set this equal to some value y, we're trying to solve for y. Well, notice this is now in exponential form, and we want to change it to logarithmic form. So I have log base b, so this b has gone here. Okay, so log base b of y is equal to the exponent. Okay, so log base b of x. Let's double check with the i hat logs b to the this equals y, and that's exactly what I had a second ago. Um, and so when I have log base b of something equals log base b of, um, and it's the same base, then I know that y is going to be equal to x. So I can rewrite this as b to the log base b of x is equal to x. Basically, the short answer is that when your bases are the same, either here or here, you're just left with whatever the exponent was. Okay. Um, this one, we have a property that lets us bring this m out front, and we can say this is equal to m times log base b of x. This one, we can split with addition, and this becomes log base b of m plus log base b of n. And sometimes, we'll see an example in a second where we squish it back together. Um, this does not mean, this is not at all equal to log base b of m plus n. That is not the same thing. Okay, um, there's nothing we can do until we have added m and n. We have to add, let me try this again. In this part right here, you have to add m and n together first, get a value, and then take log base b of that value. Um, if they're variables, you can't do anything. So that is not equivalent. Okay, this one, since that one was the, the multiplication, um, since multiplication here led to addition there, division here is going to lead to subtraction. And so this is equal to log base b of m minus log base b of n. This one has a special name. This is the change of base property. And so this is log base b of n over log base b of m. So you can, we needed this back when I was in high school because our calculators couldn't handle log base 7 of 4 or whatever. So we had to, we couldn't change the base in our calculator. Um, and my teachers, they didn't have calculators, so they had to use tables. Anyway, that's, that's beyond me. Um, so what we would do is we would say log of 4 divided by log of 7 and use the understood base of 10, or we would use natural log of 4 divided by the natural log of 7. We could plug these two into our calculators. Um, I still teach this because I see lots of problems, especially in IB, where you might have the problem where you have log base 2 of something, I don't really care, plus log base 4 of something. Well, you have to change it so that your problem all has the same base. So this is that change of base. Change of base. Okay, that's a change of base property. Let's come back here. So what I noticed with this one was this was equal to log base 2 of 2 to the 5th, so the answer is just 5. This is log base 10, which we don't have to write, of 10 squared, and so the answer is just 2. This, okay, so here, let's, this is another one to do I heart logs. So I can come in here, 16 to the x equals 4. Well, I know 16 is 4 squared. Power to a power we multiply. We have 4 to the 2x is equal to 4 to the 1. Bases are the same. We can set the exponents equal. If 2x equals 1, x equals 1 half. So you can say log base 16 of 4 is equal to 1 half. Okay, we had a property for this one. This is just equal to 0. We had a property for this one, that's just 1. We can rewrite this guy as log base 6 of 6 to the negative 2, and that's negative 2. Okay, we're almost done. This may be a long video, I don't know. Um, 
this becomes log base two. I see, I see a power of two in the new in the denominator, so that's going to make it negative. But it's a square root, so it's going to be this is two to the negative one half. And then our property says that this is just negative one half. Okay, now I see this is equal to log base ten. This is ten squared is a hundred, um, but we want the fifth root of a hundred. Um, so it's ten squared to the fifth root. So um, this is equal to two fifths. This one looks scary until all of a sudden you realize that this is log base 5 of 1 fifth. And now that's just log base 5 of 5 to the negative 1, which is negative 1. We're almost done. This, we have this, I know nothing about, well, we think, oh, 6 and 9, they both have 3 as a factor. But that's not, but they don't have, they're not powers of 3. Um, and so I can't do anything with, and then 6 and 4, they both are they both have 2 as a factor, but that's not very helpful either. But what I can do is I can squish this back together, and addition squishes together with multiplication. And so now this would be equal to log base 6 of 36, which is log base 6 of 6 squared. And the answer is 2. Okay, I like to say you need to do good math to a good answer. If you write this out slightly differently than I do, that's fine. I just want to see your, your I want logical good math even if it doesn't match exactly my thought process. Good math to a good answer. Um, okay, now on this one, we can make this become an exponent. And a two squared is four. Okay, so to be perfectly honest with you, I'm uh, good enough with these that I probably would have jumped straight to this line. And if you came from, oh, sorry. If you came from here to here, and that's all you showed me, I'd be okay with that. I can follow what you're doing, and, and that, that seems logical to me. Um, but I think I would like to see this step so that I know that you know how you got there. This is 1 over 49, which is log base 7 of 7 to the negative 2. Therefore, the final answer is negative 2. Okay, go practice logs. Make sure you're good with them. All right, goodbye.